Well, kids, as it turns out, Dead by Daylight was the bite of 87 all along. Bet you didn't see that twist in the eight hour long lore video, but apparently that is going to be added because now Five Nights at Freddy is crossing over with Dead by Daylight, which is something that people have clamored for for a very, very, very long time. Almost every single uh, Dead by Daylight chapter release boils down to, uh, could it be Springtrap? Could it be Springtrap? Could it be Freddy? Could it be Freddy? Huh? or whatever that purple mannequin guy is. I'm sure somebody will tell me down the comments below. But sorry, I haven't played Five Nights at Freddy's 2 since I was like 12. It's a joke, obviously, but it's here. It's been long awaited and it's been announced for quite a long time away from now. It is uh, summer of 2025. So that's aiming for the next anniversary out from here. So it's quite a long ways away. And I feel like this is actually kind of a really, really smart ploy uh, to do. Because we've talked in previous video how a lot of pe the reason that people get very uh, downtrodden about chapter releases is because there's something else that could have taken its place that they really wanted. Uh, like a Friday the 13th Jason, like a Candyman, like a Five Nights at Freddy's. But now that's just confirmed. So every chapter release from this here on out down the line, everybody who's clamoring for Springtrap or Friday Nights at Freddy's in general, uh, they, 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 they got it. <laughs> so they're, they're good, you know. I think it was really funny. Somebody in my chat today uh, had said that uh, Scott Cawthon, the creator, had just made some sort of interview talking about how they are very careful with their IP selection and who they share it with. Um, so they said with 90% certainty, I think was the quote, that it's not coming to Dead by Daylight. And then during that same stream, this dropped. So uh, egg on their face, I suppose. <laughs> but obviously this is a really big, awesome thing uh, and everybody's reporting on it. So it's not like you're saying you're, you're like here for the brand new news. Uh, so what are we looking for? What am I looking for what do i want to see out of this what do i feel about it first of all how i feel about it is i feel like one of the biggest criticisms of five nights of freddy's coming to dead by daylight is that people are afraid of the community coming to dbd which is a, a, a fair worry to have um out of all the, the quote unquote fandoms i have had to interact with five nights of freddy's is probably the most um not pleasant <laughs> to put it very very nicely uh, I used to do uh, fresh horror game playthroughs uh, on my uh, twitch.tv slash the Mr. Headache uh, just doing games I had never played before horror games I never played before and we did uh, the FNAF games not all of them but a lot of them and every single time I loaded up into a FNAF game there was fans flooding out of the woodwork being like hey this is how you beat uh, this robot this is how you beat Foxy I'm like no Foxy's cool I want to figure out how to beat Foxy naturally Please stop telling me. And what I would tell them, they would keep yapping, um, which I, I did not appreciate. And then I'd be wondering like, hmm, what is the lore here? What is going on with, with this character and why are they important? They'd be like, well, actually in, in 1397, uh, his mom slept with his sister and they made uh, Chica. And I'd be like, bro, I don't want to know that. I, I'm saying it like rhetorically, like I want to find out on my own. Half of the fun of the FNAF universe is the lore is really complicated and looking into that on your own, whether it be looking at content creators, looking at the wiki yourself, it's pretty, it's a fun deep dive to go on. So if somebody's just spoiling it every step of the way right away, it's bad and when i would tell them to stop they would just keep talking and it was just like i just had to do that every single time i played a fnaf game so like i don't know what's wrong with this community and like that's just like my personal experience but obviously out there in the social media universe uh twitter youtube etc you've seen you know you know the kind of people we're talking about right the the ones that save up their allowance for for the super ultra deluxe foxy from five nights at freddy's 69 now you got to turn around like they're the, you know the types that are super obsessed can't take no for an answer are really weird about it and those people will now be with us in dead by daylight now that is something you know very you know that's a fair criticism to be worried about that to be scared about that but realistically we win here no matter what like our community is not like we don't wear white hats in the dead by daylight community like we're not saints here like they might not be the most toxic community in dead by daylight that definitely goes to like fps's and mobas uh where that stuff is almost unavoidable almost every day but <laughs> like dead by daylight definitely has a very immature entitled and just socially not their community just do not get social cues they're the most need to go touch grass community in in gaming like they just we're just weird we're very, very unfortunately weird. So we're going to attract more weirdos with Five Nights at Freddy's, but we kind of deserve each other in a weird sense, right? <laughs> because like this community, 
is is, is not all sunshine and rainbows um another is theirs and what they're gonna do is they're gonna flood this game because like i was mentioning earlier is that they buy anything and everything five nights of freddy's related the five nights of freddy's uh, fan base is very dedicated extremely dedicated if you think that the the, the resident evil numbers were good the 105k that you always see streamers talk about and youtubers talk about from resident evil that is gonna get blown away that this is probably outside of like a meteor strike or removing us all from the planet uh, that is the only thing that i think could interfere is going to be the biggest chapter release ever like we are going to break our population numbers and ergo on you know with that comes a bunch of money for behavior so if you are not a fan of five nights of freddy's and you don't want the community here um and the, the, the amount of just just pure revenue we're gonna make off of these people coming into this game is going to get you better quality in dead by daily get you that potential dream chapter that you want because they're gonna have they're gonna have uh, what the industry uh, calls uh, f you money <laughs> which means you can do whatever you want because finance and freddy's fans go everywhere they buy everything they, they they will flood in and we are going to be in like a new boom for dead by day like two times super quick we're not gonna have to worry about it anymore because those people are going to be here so what this annoying youtuber is trying to tell you is that regardless of the fact that if you like five nights at freddy's the ip regardless of not whether you enjoy the community it's going to be an objective plus for our community population q times revenue for the company to do other things that we would enjoy like it's just a net positive it's something that overall is just going to be great for us so it's not something that i think i feel like we should resist and honestly they're not going to resist do you, do you like you have no control over what behavior can do here you can you can cry till the cows come home and like nothing's going to change here so might as well get with it if you can't beat them join them as i say i do think the only thing i will say it's kind of funny that that you know this video will be out while the ptb for dracula castlevania is out um <laughs> that they denounced this the day before the castlevania uh public test beta it's really funny because now everybody's gonna be focusing and talking about five nights at freddy's and not castlevania which is a cool ip in its own right so that's the only blunder here is like <laughs> like that's gonna be the main focus uh almost every chapter until this is out uh is that oh okay cool but like fnaf's coming next summer so <laughs> there's gonna be like this little sandwich in between here where most people are gonna be like oh well cool but FNAF's coming, so I can't wait for that. <laughs> so until FNAF is out, we are going to have uh, so there may be a, a tiny issue uh, with us just kind of like being underwhelmed at the, the, the chapters in between. Man, the skins alone, the skills, the skins are going to sell like hotcakes. Skins are going to sell like crazy. I wonder if they're going to do like a Legion thing where like they'll drop like spring trap specifically and then we'll just do skins for that you could just like buy out the wazoo and just make oodles of money. That'd be the, the business smart thing to do. Or I wonder if it's going to be like, they're going to try to like implement um, the other animatronics. And I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know how they're going to do that, but we'll see. We'll see. Obviously it's a year out, so we don't know. Uh, and we won't know for quite some time, but it is something to get hyped and excited about. And a lot of people, this is their dream chapter. So now they can rest easy and have the same enjoyment that I have when I got alien. So, I'm very happy that you guys could be happy the same way that I was happy when I got my dream chapter. That's a happy note to end on. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today. How do you feel about the Five Nights at Freddy chapter coming into Dead by Daylight? Do you see it as a positive or a negative? Let me know down in the comments below than that. That'll be it for today's video, because if I had made anything else, uh, nobody would have listened. And I just like, brain, 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 brain. How do you feel about it in Five Nights at Freddy's? How do you feel about it? Yeah, no, no. So I just, I just made the video, so. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow's daily upload that I, I planned to upload, but didn't happen because this randomly happened. Um, but if I don't see you there, I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.